Poor guy. I definitely did not like myself. I didn't want to look like this. And they called me a monster and throw rocks at me. What evil devils to be such backbiting bullies. Physically throwing rocks and mentally hurting him even more by all the bullying and insults and making fun of you just survive. These people, they they need to be found and they need to be punished to the maximum punishment. Evil devils. But a darn thriver to me sounds so much more fitting because I'm not surviving. I'm thriving and I would not go back to how it was before. That's good. He's more in shape than most of you. I'm just a naturally happy And he has a positive yeah. attitude, too. And dancing is one of my things. Beautiful. <laughs> well, I should have had, like, a mini fridge in here, but I don't. So I go in the kitchen. My sister got me this cut when I got accepted into my medical school. It says, check me out, because I love cats. I love strong coffee. I was four years old when the fire happened. I was burned second, third, and fourth degree burns 95% of my body. They said that I only had eight hours to live and a hundred plus surgeries and hours of physical therapy later, here I am. I have really dry skin if I don't put on lotion because I don't have all the oil pores people do in their skin because they were burned off. Whenever I got out of the hospital, that's when I started to realize that I really was different. And these kids didn't accept me and they would call me a monster and throw rocks at me. They would call me Freddy Krueger or stuff like that. Hi, good morning. How's everything? call me a monster and throw rocks at me. They would call me Freddy Krueger or stuff like that. I definitely did not like myself when I was a kid because I didn't look like everybody else. I, I didn't want to look like this. And it was very difficult for a very long time. There were times I was incredibly self-conscious where I would wear the baggiest clothes I could. His teeth are very beautiful. And wear shirts. And his attitude is beautiful. His perseverance is beautiful, you know? I went swimming, and I tried to hide as much as I could, but I could never hide my face. So I'm like, well, I can't hide my face. What's the point in hiding the rest of my body? And now it became more, more easy to accept myself and not degrade myself. Oh, this is Jacob. I realized that it doesn't matter what beauty standard is, it's what you like. And I learned to like myself. Instead of looking in the mirror and looking at something that I hated, I decided to look at what I liked and what I could enhance and accept. And the more I focused on the positive of myself, the more I started to accept who I was. Laughter is not a coping mechanism for me anymore. <laughs> the kind of things I do on TikTok are goofy videos uh, with my burns. I know a lot of people say my nubs look like a potato and I really agree with that so i filmed myself going to a walmart in the potato aisle and chilling all the other potatoes in my nub so that was really funny family reunion oh they look exactly the same <laughs> i just turned 21 years old mean. in the first video and truly did on me i just turned 18 years old since my last Truly video, a lot has changed. I've been getting into cosplay. I cosplay Deadpool and Voldemort because 
those are the most authentic cosplays I can be and feel comfortable with and it gets a lot of attention from people. I learned how to do the splits just through Ryan and he noticed me and it was awesome. Holy Jadiant, this need my year. Can't even describe what this post means to me. Social media has helped me gain a lot more confidence because I'm able to capture the positive funny moments in my life and go back and reflect on them whenever I'm having a bad day. People ask me how I drive all the time, so as you can see, I just use my nads. I'm really adapted to them. And as you can tell, all I do is really hold it like this, and it's Gucci. Working out has really boosted my confidence because it's helped me like the way I look. I'm working towards a goal that I, I like the end result of. Thanks, bro. I love feeling the burn. Some people can't take the heat, but obviously I could. That's kind of mean <laughs> to say to himself. Obviously I could, because he got burned in a... Oh my gosh. It's his 21st birthday, so we're going to take him out and go have some drinks. We're going to have a glass. At least he has a sense of humor, you know? It's good. I learned that it's okay to grieve what I used to be, but that's not me anymore. I'm me, and I don't want to be anybody else. He's handled his condition a lot better than a lot of people. He's just living a normal life, trying to be like everybody else. Not trying to be special and not just trying to hide, just trying to be normal. I am a bird driver. When you're a bird survivor, you're just surviving. You're, you're making it to the world, you're adapting, but you're not really enjoying it. But a bird thriver, to me, sounds so much more fitting because I'm not surviving, I'm thriving, and I'm really enjoying it, and I would not go back to how it was before. My optimistic views of my scars really helped sculpt the person I am today. Because I can't, I can't change my scars. I do embrace my scars now. Well, the message that I learned, and we all should know, is be thankful for what you have. And try to be as optimistic as you can. Yet remain logical when needed, of course. And well, I'll actually always be logical. I said that wrong. Never mind. Just like, share, and subscribe, and enjoy your life.